Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am Weekly Bricks, and welcome back to another LEGO video. Now today, I am going to be doing a CMF review on the LEGO 71032 Minifigure Series 22. Now this is recommended for ages 5 and up, contains on average about 9 pieces, and retails for $5 in the US. It was released on January 1st, 2022, and features 12 minifigures. Now, before I get started, I would just like to give a quick shout out to Jugo Studios. He's a really cool channel. He mostly does Lego related shorts and he's a super friendly guy. He also recently won my 100 subscriber giveaway and he is almost at 500 subscribers. So definitely go check him out and subscribe to him if you haven't already and help him get to 500 subscribers. But now without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with the review. We are going to be going in order of the list. So first up here, we have got the robot repair tech. Now I gotta say, this is probably my favorite minifigure out of the whole series. I just love how bright and colorful he is. All of the yellow color scheme. I absolutely love it here, it works really well. And I love that they used the older style of welder helmet in yellow for his head and this imprinting here. And then this is what the head looks like underneath. Got a cute little smile there with a bunch of gold detailing and a little battery percentage thing on the back. His back presser printing has got a hazard sign there and some screws and bolts. And as well, he's got side printing with some orange lines. And the front of the torso has a little logo there. Looks really cool. And of course, the printing continues like on the hips here and on the front of the legs and the side of the legs. And this arm also has some printing with, I believe that is the number five there. And on the other side, it is just a mechanical arm with a detachable little claw here. And then his accessory is this hammer here. And just putting that helmet back on. He also comes with a little robot companion, which I think is really cute. I love the build of this and with the print on the eyes there. I think it's really cool and his legs can kind of move around and you can just kind of position him however you'd like. Next up here, we've got the Chili Costume Fan and what a fun minifigure. I absolutely love this new piece here for the Chili Costume. It's a great piece, really big. They did really well with this. And the minifigure itself, she's got this face print here where on one side she has a nervous smile and sweating. And on the other side, she's got a confident smile. And on the back, there's a little bit of collar printing. On the front, there's that too. And there's also a chili print on the torso, which we don't usually get torso printing underneath giant costumes like this for minifigures. So it's really great to see. And as well, she has got a carton of milk as her accessory, which, you know, makes a lot of sense. And as well with this minifigure, she comes with a bright red hairpiece for you to put on her if you don't want to put the costume on, which I think is really nice. I really hope that they do that for future costume minifigures. Next, we've got the Troubadour, and I really love the color scheme of this minifigure with the blue and magenta. I think it works really nicely together. And it's an overall extremely detailed minifigure. Taking the accessories away, you can see how detailed the torso printing is. He's even got side arm printing and side leg printing, as well as dual molded legs to represent his boots. I think that's a really nice touch, and as well as got back torso printing. And his hat is really cool. It's it's a Robin Hood style hat with a little feather there. And he's just got one face print here where he's kind of happy. I think it's really cool. Putting the hat back on. Looking at the accessories, we've got a loot here, which is a really nice new mold. I really love that they included that for him here. And of course, you can have him playing it. And as well, he's got a couple of these pieces, which are a little sort of like doubloon coin sort of things, which I think is a really nice touch. Next up, we've got the Snow Warrior, and I think this is a really neat minifigure. I love the fur detailing on the hat, which is a new mold, as well as the Craven fur piece there. And taking the accessories away, you have a little bit of a better look at his torso printing, which is a really nice fur coat. And the detailing continues onto the sides with sidearm printing with dual molding as well as side light printing with dual molding as well, which is awesome, and back torso printing as well. And the face, old man, or one side he is 
you know, sort of smiling. I love the white mustache. And on the back side, he has a little bit of an angry expression, a fighting expression. And his accessories, of course, is this really neat sword piece, which I believe was first introduced in the medieval blacksmith shop from last year. And his other accessory is a really cool shield piece with a snowflake print on it. And I nearly forgot the Snow Warrior also comes with a cute little husky with blue eyes, which I believe is a new print. So I really love this inclusion here. Next here, we've got the horse and groom. First, I will talk about the groom, which is a cute little girl with this beanie piece first introduced in Hidden Side, which also includes some braids, which is nice. And her face print is also really cool. She has one side where she's smirking and another side where she's really happy, really smiling. You can see her braces there. She also has some freckles as well. Taking a look at the torso here, it's this nice flannel piece, which I think is really awesome with side arm printing on both sides and back printing. Really detailed. I love the pattern there. And she also has just plain mid legs. And of course, her accessory is this nice little carrot, which is meant to be for the horse here is a baby horse and I really love this new mold. I think it works perfectly for this minifigure series and I really hope that they use it in future sets. Next up we've got the figure skating champion, a fantastic minifigure. It comes on this superhero action stand piece that was first introduced in the DC superheroes minifigure series and just taking a look at the minifigure itself. Of course he comes on ice skate pieces and taking those off. We have a pretty good look at the minifigure with this Hair piece that was first introduced in the Everyone is Awesome set and was also used for Tan France from the Queer Eye set and is first appearing here in this blonde color which looks really nice and taking that off there's no second face print but there is this one face print with a huge smile and some dazzly stars right there which looks awesome. And the torso print has so much detail with all of the sparkles and glitter on it. There's no sidearm printing here but there is sidearm printing here with all the glitter and stuff and his accessory here is this trophy which is why he's called the figure skating champion. He won a championship and now let's put him back on his stand. Voila! We're halfway through the series now. Next up, we have got the Night Protector, which is a really cool concept. I love this hairstyle here in this sort of cyan -y, teal blue. That's really cool. I think it's appearing in that color for the first time here. And the face as well looks really cool with that skin tone. Kind of looks like she's from Star Wars. And one side of her face, She's got a happy expression, the other side she's got a more stern, angry, perhaps fighting expression. The back torso printing here is really neat. Side arm printing as well with dual molding looks really nice and the front looks spectacular with that little gem in the middle. And the leg printing as well on the sides as well, it's just detail everywhere. I absolutely love it and of course her accessories are a nice little sword here which I don't really like the sword piece because it's so dull. but. It is cool in this translucent purple color, and as well there is one of these Gungan shield pieces in trans purple as well with a moon print on it. Next here we've got the forest elf, and this is such a cute minifigure. I really love the concept here, especially this cute little acorn hat, which is a very similar mold to the snow warriors hat. I think it's really awesome, and taking that off here. You can see one side of his face has got just a cute little smirk. On the other side, he's got a much happier expression with his mouth open there. I think that's really cute, putting the hat back on. He's got this awesome new leaf cape piece in the soft fabric. I think this is perfect for the minifigure. Looking behind that, we've got some nice back printing, really detailed, as well as the front looks very similar. He's got just got plain mid legs. I love how they're featuring mid legs more and more in sets and if your series and his accessories he's got a nice little walking stick and as well he has got a cute little toadstool which has this such a cute little face i love just the overall cuteness of this minifigure next up we've got the bird watcher and this is a really nice minifigure especially this hair and hat combo returning here in this cyan and black color scheme really love that and her face is 
really great too. The side of her face, she's just got a cool, calm smirk. On the other side, she looks really relieved, like she found a really cool bird. And there's nothing really too much on the back, just, just a little bit of collar printing. And then on the front, it's pretty simple. It's just got two chest pockets there. And of course she has this pink satchel, which is really nice. And her leg printing is really cool with the khakis and boots there, which is dual molded. And there's pockets printed on the sides there. And as well on this arm, she has what I believe is a Borg watch. Nice reference in Ninjago. And of course, both these arms are dual molded to represent short sleeves. One of her accessories is these green binoculars. And as well, she comes with this incredible new toucan mold here that's sitting on this bright green plant. I absolutely love this mold. And just like with the horse piece, really hope they use this in future sets. I just really love everything about this minifigure. Next up, we've got the raccoon costume fan. And I think this is a really fun minifigure. It's reusing the same piece that they used for the fox lady back in series 19, but recolored in gray to represent a raccoon instead of a fox. I really love that. And as well, this is a cute old woman where one side she's got a cute little smile on the other side. She's got an even bigger smile, which is really nice. Just like the chili costume fan, she also comes with a hairpiece, which is a pretty common hairpiece, but it's nice to get here, as well as her torso here. She's just got some nice fur printing, nothing on the back here, but there is this nice tail piece in between the torso and the legs, and the legs are dual molded, which is a really nice touch. Her accessories is this trash bag, which I wish this was a black trash bag instead of white, but it's still really cool to get here, and as well, there's a green trash can, which is a pretty common piece. I always love when they include these costume people in these main figure series. I always think that they're so fun. Next up here, we have got the Space Alien, and what a cool minifigure. I really love that they reused this bug antenna piece for him, and I love how his eyes are at the end of the antennas. That is so smart. I really love that. And his face, of course, just has his mouth. One side's got a little bit of a smaller smile, but on the other side, it's a huge smile. I'll show you what it looks like there. With that, I really love that. Such a cute alien here. And he includes the classic space logo, which is interesting on this purple torso. Really detailed arms there on both sides and the legs as well. On both of the sides, got printing and of course on the front as well. It's a little hard to see because it's black on dark purple but as well on the back he has got this cool little attachment where i'm not exactly sure what this is but it's like a container of some sort i believe and it's on this back bracket piece there's no no printing on the back so it's not really covering up anything but i do like the print here of this on this transparent green head and of course his accessory is this nice little ray gun in the cyan color. I think this is a really cool concept. I always love all the different space creature concepts that they're able to come up with for these minifigure series. Now the last minifigure up here is the wheelchair racer. I absolutely love that they included this. With the minifigure, we've got this great helmet mold that I really want them to use for future sets. So cool there. And of course his face, he's got some stubble on it. It's got a nice little smirk, nothing on the back though. But the back torso printing is nice with it saying sport there. That is a reoccurring brand across a lot of different sets, especially city sets. And there's sidearm printing here with the sport logo, dual molded arms on both sides. And he's got this nice metal piece here, which isn't very common. It's really cool that they brought that back here. And of course the front torso printing has got the sport logo again. And it's got this sort of athletic outfit. There's no printing on the legs, but of course, if you do take him off there, you are able to see the wheelchair racer a little better. And I really love this new mold for it. You're able to put these three wheel pieces on, and I love how this is at an angle, really accurate to what these look like in real life. And of course, there's this clear piece here for it to stand up on the stand, but I will show you what it looks like in action. So I'll put the guy back on it, and I will show you what it looks like when it's rolling. Whoop. So as you can see, it rolls really smoothly, and I really do love that LEGO included this in the series. There you go. That was my CMF review on the 2022 LEGO Minifigure Series 22. If you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything like that, please be sure to leave those down in the comments below, and let me know what you think of this minifigure series down there as well. Now, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you like this or any of my content, be sure to hit that like button, click subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you haven't already. 
so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, check out my account, Top Bricks, on Lego Ideas, for more Lego related content. Now, I hope you have a great day or night, wherever and whenever you are, and until next time, fellow brickers, peace out.